Today we continue celebrating 17 years and 500 episodes of The Zoo Files by looking at how the series is produced and recalling some of our favorite stories from past years. It's taken us from backstage visits with the zoo's animals and the people who provide their care to the jungles of Africa, down the Amazon River, and to a number of other institutions devoted to wildlife conservation. The wizard behind the Zoo Files curtain has always been cameraman Terry Shields of Shields Productions in Charlotte. Just voice over here and then we'll have you and Gavin yeah. on camera together. Terry's skills and attention to detail along with the expert editing of David Woodruff, had resulted in a number of national awards for the series. Today, Terry steps out from behind the camera to share how the series is produced and recall some of our most memorable moments. We did a, a video news release on Boo at the Zoo, and the story worked out well. And the next thing I know, we were having conversations about doing a weekly series and to have been doing this 17 years later is amazing to me. Every Zoo Files starts with a good story idea and there's a little formula that we use and voila, you've got a two minute story that is very digestible to people of all ages. The birth of a baby animal is always a wonderful story. We've done zoo vet procedures. For me, a life-changing event was traveling to Africa to do documentary support for our off-site conservation efforts. Nothing that I've done professionally has been more rewarding than producing this television series on the zoo. To be able to make a difference in people's lives and telling stories that give people an appreciation for the natural world and the importance of conservation makes me feel like I'm making a difference and it makes me feel good about my life's work. Finally, this is my last Zoo Files episode. After 28 years in North Carolina's best job, I'm retiring. It's time to pass the torch onto my associate, Gavin Johnson. I know he's going to do a great job. Rod, you've been a great teacher to me, and I hope to continue the legacy that you've started here at the North Carolina Zoo and throughout the entire state regarding zoo files. Thanks, Gavin. And so for the last time, I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.